All right, so homemade hash browns. I've got my food processor. I have about a quarter of an onion here. I've got some um, potatoes. I have five. I'm not sure how many are going to actually fill up the uh, food processor, but we'll start with these. Um, I've washed them. This one had some imperfections, so I just cut them out. I like to leave my uh, peels on. I'm going to go ahead and just cut these into quarters to get them into the food processor. Well, I have four of them cut up and we'll see how those do. Uh, if I have room, I'll cut up the fifth one. I'm gonna be using this this food processor head. It kind of cuts uh, little strips up and I really like the way um, the hash browns come out with it. And here we go. As it turns out, four potatoes was about my limit here in the food processor. I'm going to dump this out in a bowl and mix it up with a little bit of uh, vinegar to keep them from going brown. I'm just going to pour a little bit in here. Helps keep them from turning brown and black. Uh, sometimes I make enough for two days, and if they do start turning brown, these are russet potatoes, I just put them in a colander and rinse them through, and most of that brown comes right off. So I did put the uh, onion in there, and I want to make sure also that the onion is well mixed. Looks like everything's good. And I'm going to go ahead and start warming up the frying pan. All right, I'm going to add some oil and let this warm up. It's on uh, about 375 or so. These things need to be adjusted. Um, the heating element goes around the edge and there's, or you know, however it goes, and there's always going to be some areas which are hotter than others. So you got to play with it a little bit. I recently changed out uh, frying pans. I had the longer, bigger one, but I traded with Eddie. Um, he has a longer, bigger one now because he likes to make uh, like burritos, breakfast burritos, and the bigger one just suits him better and this fits better on my counter. So everybody's happy. All right, here's my time-honored test. Yep, throw some water on it. Starts to crackle and bounce. It's time to put the potatoes on. You can use your hands or a spoon. I find my hands do a better job. I'm just going to spread these out over the surface and let them cook for a while. You can add pepper to this and other things. I did an earlier video where sometimes I cook up some cabbage and stuff like that and add it in, sausage, whatever. Sometimes we just like them plain, just like this. Make sure that there's a nice layer of potatoes. Okay, spread them out. And just let them fry and get brown. If you need to adjust the heat, just do so. It's a working process. Since this is enough for Eddie and I, I've put the rest in my Dollar Tree container. I'm going to go in uh, the refrigerator and we'll have some potatoes tomorrow too. You're going to start seeing them brown a little bit, so that's the moment you I cut mine up into sections. I can't flip the whole thing. I just cut them up into sections. I've been to restaurants where they've served them with just one side brown, but I really like both sides brown. So I'm just going to turn that over. As you can see, not all, not all sections uh, cook evenly on this thing, but as long as it's cooked through one way or the other, it's okay. There you go. Doesn't that look delicious? I'm hungry. I can hardly wait. It was 37 degrees outside when I woke up, and I know that's not uh, as cold as a lot of people's lives are, but in this house, it's pretty darn cold. Got the heaters going, and things are going a lot better. <laughs> so these are getting here. I'm isolating the ones that didn't cook as fast um, according to where they are in the pan. And I'm going to take out the done ones and finish up with the not done ones, and then we're good to go. Everything's done and draining on the paper bag. Pandemic paper saver. <laughs> All righty. We're going to serve them in a minute. yourself a feast here to eat with the hash browns. Uh, why don't you give it a try and let everyone know what you think.
What's the verdict, Daddy? Mm. Very good. All right. Very, very good. Well, I'm not going to hold this video camera anymore. I know you're hungry and you got a good breakfast. So enjoy. Right and, on. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>